Hey, what's going on, everybody? You haven't done one of these types of videos in a while. Uh, but this one here I had from somebody for probably three or four days now. And I, I think it was about three days. I'm finally just getting around to it. So I'm going to give a background on to it first just to explain it. Uh, a gentleman was selling on eBay. He has a store. And he's sending stuff out by, uh, what do you call it, PWE, Plain White Envelope Postage Stamp on. We all know there's risk to it, you know, that it might not make it there, could go through the sorter, get all messed up. You know, there's all kinds of issues. I know now eBay has their own uh, little method for it and stuff like that, too. I, I just, I send everything first class with tracking. Normally, I don't even use that other option. I know a lot of people do, and they like it. I just prefer the old bubble envelope and, you know, some cardboard around the card or cards and push it on out. So anyhow, he ended up uh, mailing this out, PWE, the stamp on it. And this guy here, epeco 0 you know, sends him a message. And I'll scroll down to it so you guys can see. Uh, it says, hi, it said the item was guaranteed on Monday, February 22nd, which was two days ago. It's not arrived. And do you have tracking on it? If I don't receive it in the next four days, there's a problem. Okay. You know, it kind of seems a little bit on to it. And then when you go down here, hello, did you put tracking on his package? And it's almost Saturday. You know, guys getting jumpy over to it. And, you know, you start thinking about it, and you're like, wow, man, maybe you know, the mail is slow. Is this guy trying to scam me? You know, you have all those emotions and thoughts that are going through your mind. So the gentleman did email him back here. It says, I ship items below $12 in the PWE. You know, he explains the whole thing on to it. And the card should show up in the next few days. You know, he says, sorry for the inconvenience and everything like that. Real polite. Reply back here. So, Mr. Eve Pecco says, ha, 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 idiot. I actually received the card on time and I got free money back. Get, is that wrecked? Bro, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm not down with all the lingo anymore. Which, you know, he just admits he scammed the guy. Now, Grant, I'm sure uh, I didn't really get a chance to email this gentleman back, but I am here shortly. I would send this off to eBay and get the dude banned and get my money back that that guy owes for the car. He, he admits it right here. He received it on time. He basically saw a way that somebody mailed it by postage stamp. There's no way to be tracked, and he can get both the card and the money free. Granted, whether it's a dollar card, five dollar card, ten dollar card, you know, to me, a scam to scam. You don't do stuff like this. It's wrong. It's unethical. So if you guys have block list out there, add this dude to it, because this is his direct message to the gentleman. I, I have a big long scroll of message on to it, and just block him. Say goodbye, Ev Echo Dash Zero. You're not gonna get any of my stuff. So I haven't really done one for blocking eBay users yet. But we've hit a lot of different uh, areas on to it. This guy here, flat out scammer to me by doing something like that. And then he has enough, you know, it, I guess you, I don't know how to say it. He has enough courage, courage is a good word to use, and bravery that he's going to admit it in a message and say that. that that's just wrong. So... Uh, guys, this is like a really short video on to it. Be careful if you're mailing with stamps. Uh, you know you're going to take a risk. I know guys will say they've mailed hundreds or thousands of cards, never had an issue. But there's people out there like this that's going to come after you and do this. Um, be careful. But if you guys want, there's one for your block list. Uh, eventually, I think what I'm going to do is copy my block list and uh, send it out to everybody, or do it in somehow where I can send it out to people. I don't know. I'll figure a way on to it. But, uh, yeah, not not a real good one here uh, to really see. I feel sorry for the guy, you know, doing it, you know, then he gets this message back. After, you know, trying to apologize and send a nice message back on to it. But, you know, it, it's a lesson learned on to it, and he wanted to make sure, you know, pretty much other people don't get hit by this guy. And I believe that's the right thing to do offhand. Especially at this message here. That, why would you even say something back like that and make, you know, even admit this? It just makes you look bad all the way around. But I'm sure the guy has probably like five or six eBay accounts too. But that's pretty much it, everybody. 
Um, PSA. I seen a lot of people going live about it yesterday and putting their two cents into it. I'm gonna put a video out tomorrow. I've had some time to digest it all, and I see it both from a collector, flipper, and a business, three different ways, onto it. So I'm gonna give my thoughts onto it and what what I'm gonna end up doing about it, you know. So I think what I'll do is I'll do that video for Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I had to think about it. And then I'll come live Friday night. I don't know what time. Probably 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But when I come on, just plan with you somewhere around there. I'll stick on for a little bit. We're going to talk about it and see what everybody's thoughts are. I I'm going to ask everybody, please be civil on, too, because I know a lot of people are upset over it and stuff like that there. Uh, you know, a lot of these companies have a lot of stuff going on, so... I mean, if you're not going to use PSA anymore, that's fine. If you're not going to use SGC, that's fine. Beckett, fine. You know, there's many options out there onto it. But I'm going to do a video on it tomorrow. I, I guess uh, I had a couple people, I guess you could say, poke the old bear. I was actually going to stay away from it just because every YouTube person out there was going to do a video on it. But enough people have asked me now, either by message, email, comments that I'll do it with my thoughts on to it. So prepare for that tomorrow offhand. Um, thank you, everybody, for your support. Don't forget, auction next Friday, which, oh boy, 12th, 12th of March. So I don't know how much I'll have, but whatever I got, we will roll with. Maybe a PSA order pops by then, too. All right, everybody, take care. Hope your week's doing good out there. And if anybody was wondering, no, my package still is missing in action. <laughs> I'll talk about that during the live stream. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one.